next. So what's next? What do parents need to know to get the shot for their child? News 12's Eileen La Palmer takes a look. We have to wait two more weeks. Parents like Christina Orr trying to sign her eight year old son up for an appointment for the COVID-19 vaccine. We just want kids to live their life to the fullest and it's it's been a long road for everybody. By 1045 this morning, 300 doses of the Pfizer pediatric COVID vaccine had arrived at Dr. John Zazzo's office in East Meadow. We will be setting up these pods uh, eventually as it comes through. A third of the dose actually generates as much antibody response in that age group as the full adult dose. The kid doses, like the adult doses, have to be kept in a freezer. The difference is Pfizer has labeled these orange for the kids and the adult ones are purple. But getting an appointment right now isn't easy. By late Tuesday afternoon, all the major pharmacy chains, CVS, Rite Aid and Walgreens, were still not taking appointments for children under 12. None of the major hospital systems on the island have announced plans to host mass vaccination sites either, including Northwell Health, Catholic Health Systems or Stony Brook University. The push is for pediatricians offices to give the shots. It's been hours and hours of logistical planning. Dr. Mark Lashley is with the Allied Physicians Group, which serves 200,000 children. They plan to hold two drive through mass vaccination sites next weekend, but for their patients only. One will be at the Coleman Campground in Freeport, the other at the Crestwood Country Day Camp in Melville. We've uh, have enough vaccine for a thousand children for each day. We did a survey of parents and found out that 66% have asked to give the vaccine now to their children. 33% uh, are either not wanting it or unsure. In East Meadow, Eileen La Palmer, News 12, Long Island. And again, a CDC advisory panel has now approved the shot. So the CDC, uh, head of the CDC, Rochelle Walensky, could make a decision within just a couple of hours here. Meanwhile, a spokesperson for Mount Sinai South Nassau says it'll be using its Vaxmobile for the kids' shots. They've also heard from school districts looking to have the Vaxmobile brought directly to schools. So we're asking you this question tonight. Do you plan to get your 5 to 11-year-old vaccinated? Let's take a look at the results right here. 28% or so say right away, 13% say you're going to wait on this 6% only if mandated not getting vaccinated though look at that more than 52% of the vote right now this poll is live on the news 12 Long Island Twitter page let us know what you think